everybody i'm here today to talk to you about preventing earwigs from going into your yard garden or backyard so let's get right into the video i'll be telling you specifically how to prevent earwigs from going into your yard and i'll be going over six tips that actually work let's get right into the video tip number one we're going to get right into it no beating around the bush tip number one is remove piles of leaves wood and rocks that might be in your yard or garden now earwigs are essentially attracted to piles of natural things the reason is because those piles contain moisture most of the time they will trap moisture and earwigs like moisture so if you have a pile of wood especially a pile of wood or a pile of compost of some sort or a pile of leaves or even a big larger pile of rocks you want to remove them or at least flatten them out so that there's less moisture to be contained within that pile tip number two is to uh, try to avoid excessively moist areas so obviously you know your yard if you live somewhere where it rains which everywhere basically rains as f at some point as far as I know you want to avoid excessively moist areas so you're gonna have moisture sitting somewhere of course after it rains but if you have something that traps moisture like a bucket that you know will hold the water after it rains you want to avoid things like that so try to avoid excessively moist areas number three reduce lighting to a minimum earwigs love lights now I for instance I love lights my house my yard is well illuminated I have every type of light everywhere that you can imagine everything from lights that go on automatically and off automatically to the ones that I can turn on and off manually accent lights um, you know like uh, gardening lights landscape lights I got all sorts of lights lights in the in the soffits I got lights everywhere but I don't have an earwig problem if I had an earwig problem the first thing that I would do would be to reduce the amount of lights and you don't have to do it on a permanent basis you just have to do it until the earwigs are gone on until you don't have an earwig problem anymore so obviously you still want to illuminate your home okay but you want to reduce it so let's say you have you know 40 lights on at night you want to maybe try and cut that in half and see if that makes a difference earwigs like lights they get attracted to lights so you want to avoid um, an excessive amount of lights and reduce it to the minimum necessary number of lights okay and even if you you might want to even change to dimmer bulbs just temporarily okay that's just an idea number four spread dry gravel where they like to gather or congregate okay so if you know that there's a lot of earwigs in this area you want to spread dry gravel around that area they are not fans of dried up gravel i'll give you an example when i was a kid my parents area where my parents live there was like an earwig infestation there was a ridiculous number of earwigs for well, i think it was one summer and where my parents live there is a hydro pole like not a hydro pole it's a light post that is on the the city's portion of their lawn okay so that where the city owns that portion of their lawn there's a like a light post and there is like a thing that holds the light post up and there's a tube around that little wire that holds the light post up. It's not a wire. It's like a, I guess it's like a, it's like a metal, a metal, you know, uh, structure that holds it up. So when I was a kid, I remember I was playing on that thing and I was tapping that tube and like earrings just came flooding out of there. Like there must have been. I don't know 2,000 earwigs it was ridiculous so obviously we knew we had an earwig problem in the area and they were all on that metal thing okay which I don't know if they're attracted to metal but I mean that would kind of make sense by that one example that I said my dad got dried up gravel and he spread it all around there and it sort of reduced the problem substantially there wasn't nearly as many when we went back there in the coming weeks to check okay now that's just one example but it goes hand in hand with what I read about earwigs not liking dry gravel so you you know like I said it's just one example it can't it can't be used as like you know it's a very small sample size but from what I read about earwigs not liking dry gravel that makes complete sense so spread dry gravel where you know they like to gather number five apply sticky barriers this is optional but if you know that they're getting into your yard from a certain place you can try and apply a sticky barrier to that area I would not recommend you know going all around your yard with a sticky barrier that might be overdoing it but if you know that there's a way that they get in you might want to consider a sticky barrier that's up to you it's just an idea lastly is number six last but not least is number six which is plant shrubs and flowers and trees that deter the earwigs now uh, you're gonna have to do your own research because it all depends on where you live certain shrubs are more available in certain areas certain plants thrive in certain areas and you might 
try and plant uh, a certain shrubbery that I tell you about that deters earwigs, but it might not survive where you live because of the weather conditions. So you gotta do your own research for this, but look for plants that deter earwigs and see which ones will do well in your area and specifically the section of your backyard that you're considering planting them in and plant them and you should deter them. That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.